Question 4. Compound S is used in food fillings. Uh, a possible synthesis is shown in this uh, 4.1. So it's from P until compound S. So later we'll discuss all the details, no worry. Okay, part A. P, Q, R, and S show stereoisomerism. So you should know that stereoisomerism, uh, there, are, there are two stereoisomerism under this. So they are geometrical and optical isomerism. So these two isomerism is stereoisomerism. Uh, complete table 4.1 by and identifying with the, a tip, the type of stereoisomerism that each molecule shows. First, you need to know what is PQRS. If you're not really sure, then of course you cannot really uh, get a correct answer. Uh, now, let's start with P. P is the alkene. Uh, it has a CC double bond. And we know that uh, this uh, alkene uh, it has two different groups, means this carbon and this carbon uh, is uh, both having two different groups. So please look at this one. Uh, the carbon, okay, this carbon is has one methyl, one hydrogen. This carbon is has one methyl and one hydrogen. So when the carbon with two different groups, so it can form the cis trans isomers. Uh, or the geometrical isomerism. Then, after that, the P will react with HBr. So this one we know that is the electrophilic addition. So this HBr will add to this uh, alkene and form this uh, halogenol alkene. So which is this one? Okay, this equation, this one, built two in, reacts with this uh, HBr. So this HBr will add into this uh, 2 in and form this halogenol alkene. And this halogenol alkene, it will not show the cis trans anymore. But now it will sh it will show uh, uh, optical isomerism because this halogenol alkene is has the uh, one chiral carbon step. Because this carbon with one, two, three, four different groups. So this one is a chiral carbon, means it will, it will show the optical isomerism. And the Q will further react with the KCN in ethanol, undergo the substitution. Uh, if you want to know the details, okay, this is the details, yeah. When we use a KCN in ethanol, so we know that uh, it's going to be a substitution. Uh, the cyanide will uh, attack this uh, partial positive carbon and eventually it's formed this intermediate and the CBr bonds will break and these two electrons will move to the bromine and it will form bromides here. And after that, it will form this, uh, this uh, nitro, this nitro. So this is how to form the compound R. So this is comp just now what I show you is how to form the compound R. Okay, which is this one again. I show you again this one. This is a compound R. So from here, you know that uh, this carbon is a chiral carbon because it has uh, one, two, three, four different groups with it. So the compound R also will show the stereoisomerism, which is the optical isomerism. After that, this compound R will undergo hydrolysis, which is the reaction tree. So in this reaction tree, uh, uh, if the nitrile undergo hydrolysis, uh, this C and triple bonds, of course, will break, and the nitrogens will form uh, ammonia, and the carbons here will, of course, after hydrolysis, it will form carboxylic acid, COOH. Uh, so this is how it works, you see. Uh, means for the Q, R, S, these three 
they will show optical isomerism. Okay, this is Q, R, S. So these three compounds will show optical isomerism, and the answer is now very clear. For the geometrical isomerism, which is cis trans, only P will show. So Q, R, S will not. Optical isomerism, P will not show, just Q, R, S will show. Part B. Give the structural formula of Q. So this is very easy if you know how the mechanism or how the reaction works. Uh, so this is the Q again. After the reaction, after the addition. So this is the Q. And it's the CH3, CH, Br, CH2, CH3. So this is a structural formula. So you just give this one. Part 2. Name the mechanism in reaction 2. Reaction 2, again, this one. Reaction 2 is the KCN in ethanol with the this uh, haloalkane. So which is this mechanism again, this one. So because this is a nucleophile, this nucleophile substitutes the uh, this uh, bromine. So therefore, we say that it's a nucleophilic substitution because it starts with the nucleophile and it substitutes others. So the mechanism in this reaction too, so we call nucleophilic substitution. Part 3. Complete the equation for the reaction 3. R is uh, represented as this one. Uh, C4H9CM. Um, this one, you need to know uh, the reactants that involve again reaction 3 is the hydrolysis as you can see here uh, it's already given H plus and aqueous means uh, there are two reactants now is the H plus and H2O so you have to include this one in the hydrolysis so means this is the nitrile now reacts with these two reactant H2O and H plus from what from these two compounds as I told you just now, after this uh, CN bond break, so it will form ammonia here, and this will form COOH. So this ammonia will further react, means the ammonia that form will further react with the H+, means the, the acid, to form the salt, the ammonium salt. So the, there will be two products formed now. The nitrile will form the carboxylic acid, means uh, this triple bond break. So this will form COOH, so we'll form this C4H9COOH. And after that, it will form this product, this ammonium. Uh, this ammonium is from the ammonia. So again, you have to check whether it's balanced or not. All right. So uh, that's all for this question now move on to uh, oh, sorry this part b yeah? so for the part c uh, compound s and t reacts to form organic compound u u uh, which has a single functional group um, later we will we'll, we'll come back to this equation uh, let's uh, do the part one use the data from table 4.2 to show that u contains seven carbons show your working to calculate the numbers of carbon so you must use this equation so use uh, um, hundred over 1.1 so this is the ratio between the C chaff and C13 C chaff and C13 uh, times the relative abundance of the M plus 1 over relative abundance of m plus so you just substitute the values here 0 0.55 to here 7.2 to here so you get this and uh, you get seven carbon so this one if let's say now we know that the ester that form here is seven carbon because from here we already know that, that the U 
is contains seven carbon, isn't it? So when this is seven, uh, this has seven carbon, and this compound S, it has five carbon. One, two, three, four, five. Means, this compound T, it must have two carbons. So this is the 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 things that you must understand, uh, and know how many carbons that involved for this all this compound. Okay, later we'll get back to this again. Uh, part two. Um, we have the this uh, figure four point two, which shows the infrared spectrum of U. U is the compound just now. U uh, uh, means uh, the after the reactions of this carboxylic acid and the T, we get the U. From this IR spectrum, it's very clear that uh, it shows a strong absorption around 1,700. So this one is to show that the CO double bond. And you can refer or you can get these values from the table 4.3. So just now, uh, the strong absorptions around 1,700 is from this part, CO double bond, uh, which can be amide, carbonyl, carboxyl, and ester, this few. After that, we have another strong absorption around uh, 1,100 uh, uh, to 200. Uh, from the table, so you can know that uh, this is the CO bond. CO bond in the hydroxy or ester. So this is the, the absorptions that involve. From here, we are quite sure that the U, compound U, is the ester. So it has the ester functional group because of these two absorptions these two absorption. So means we know that, again, let's get back to the equation. The compound S is a carboxylic acid and the product is ester. Now we are quite sure that the T is the alcohol and this alcohol is, has two carbon. Means it's telling you now this is the ethanol. So this is how you get all the functional group uh, from all these uh, the absorptions uh, in the wave number. Uh, try to understand how to use it. Okay, so from what I explained just now, so you can uh, now understand and know what is a functional group. So it's an ester. Why is ester? Then you need to use the two absorptions that I mentioned just now to explain. Because there are two absorptions at 1710 to 1750 wave numbers and 1040 to 1300 wave number which indicates they are CO double bond and CO bonding in the ester. So this is how you explain uh, for these uh, absorptions which will give you the functional group. Okay, last part. The T, uh, if you remember, the T is an alcohol, isn't it? It's a two carbon alcohol, therefore, it just can be ethanol. Uh, so use the information in C1 and your answer in C2, identify T and U. Uh, so now it's very easy. Uh, the T is the alcohol. Uh, you can give this uh, structure or this one is okay. Uh, so it's a CH3, CH2OH. So it's a ethanol. And the U is the ester. So I show you this equation again. This is a carboxylic acid that used, and this is a ethanol. Uh, and this one is undergo esterification. Um, so the H2O now is removed. So this OH from COOH and the H from OH, right? So this one will form H2O and get removed. And the new bonds form between this O and this carbon. So to form this ester group. 
So therefore, the compound U means the ester is this one. Okay, that's all. Thank you.